Hey, what's going on YouTube? So, previously you saw I, I wrapped my skates pink. Well, like I said, the pink vinyl was um, not good. And I even said that a bunch of times in that video. So today, we are doing the skates in black. And the logo, so, as you see, there the skates are right now, currently in their pink, with the black logo that I had hand cut. And as you can see, the vinyl, not, like, look, nice and smooth there, but, mm, -mm. And I started to peel it off there, because I figured I was going to just rip it off and show you guys the black skates, but I was like, hold up, let's start recording first. So also, still have the template, and then these were what I had hand cut previously. Well, I also got one of the Silhouette Cameo machines, the cut vinyl. So, a much cleaner, crisper cut. Like, look at, look at the Bunny's logo there, compared to me hand cutting it. I couldn't even keep the whiskers with this pink vinyl. With the black, I was able to. But with the pink, the machine came out really good. So, oh, also, got the, the matte black vinyl. It is also vivid, but this is commercial grade, not whatever this pink crap was. Um, I do still have a piece left from before, so I'm probably going to use this on the one skate, and then the other skate will get another one. But before we start, so, like I said, I have it pink. But... I did pick up a really cool color that I think will look even better. So let's go over to the Cameo machine and cut it out. Okay, I have loaded up the bunny logo into the Silhouette Cameo machine. And this is the decal, or the, the vinyl I'm going to use. You can't really see it. There you go. You can get a little bit of a glimpse of the color there. It's color shifting. It's going to look mint. But yeah, so... Here's the bunny. I've already set it up in here, so let me uh, ungroup it here so you can see. All right, quick off. So there you can see this is the way it's going to cut. But it's always best to leave everything grouped and together. That way you can see the final product. You will see a slight red outline knowing that you've got it set right. Um, so we'll just oh, set it over. The machine is turned off, so let's set this thing up. Turn it on, pop open the cover, drop the blade in, lock it in place. Okay, now it's set. So I always put it, but this particular vinyl I found, uh, you can just leave it at um, 2, force 10, speed 5, vinyl glossy. When I've used a uh, holographic film from 3M, I found I had to go really high in the settings. Still haven't found the right one, so I'm not going to give you guys what I, the number I used because it's not perfect. Um, but let's get this set up. Try to do it one-handed. Oops. Try to do this one-handed. I think I got it. I do. All right. And the good thing is with the cutting mat they give you, it's got a nice stickiness to it so it holds the vinyl down it gives you a number grid which you can kind of figure out it doesn't have numbers here but I think there's a setting to do it but I don't you just gotta count the boxes and figure it out so let's just hit send And just like that, it is done. Mm. 
Let's see if I can do this without using a tool. Come on. Normally you would use two hands. Of course I'm trying to show you guys. And then I would just use a, like an exacto blade or a special specialty tool to help peel out all the other spots you need. But for now, let this. I'll show you guys when I get to the table. Okay, off camera, I was able to get it to come off. And then I also I also did the the number. So let's prop this camera up. And let's get to unwrapping and rewrapping the skate. Okay. Time to remove this terrible, cheap, pink vinyl. Uh, I will say, like, in person, these pop. They look unbelievable. It's just the quality of this vinyl is not up to par. Um, and... I can already see like this residue that I'm fighting, so like I'm gonna have to re-clean the skates now before even thinking of just applying the. Yeah, there's like a slight stickiness to it, so I gotta clean these off with some like rubbing alcohol and everything before even attempting to rewrap these skates with the black. Um, but as you can see, like it does not ruin the skates. Like you can. Ugh, I gotta go in there. I gotta grab an exacto blade now and get that out of there. See if you, you can see it there. Look at all that pink. Um, but, the skate, it comes out the skates really nice. Nice and easy. Um, you will have to sometimes do a little picking here just to get it to lift up, but that's okay. I was thinking of even unstitching this and seeing if you can take these off but I didn't see any videos on it so I do not want to be the guinea pig to remove the Bauer logo I don't like I don't think there's anything behind here except for maybe like a glue patch to hold down the leather but again since I didn't see any videos on it I am not going to be the guinea pig uh, <laughs> but that's all good Maybe for like October, you know, being like breast cancer awareness month for most sports and everything. Maybe I'll get an actual like commercial car grade pink and wrap the skates again at that time. Um, or maybe for like some special one off tournaments, I might do it because, it, it, like I said, it pops. It's a really bright, vibrant color. That does look good, it's just the vinyl was very subpar at best. Um, but yeah, well, that was pretty easy to get out, it didn't need a blade at all. Alrighty, time to clean them and get started. Be right back. Okay, here we go. So what I did was I just peeled out the middle portion here so that way it allows me to pull across. So that way the back should be flat. Um, and this skate here should be the one with the number. 
I will say this is much easier to do when you're not used to it on camera. Or if you have an extra person, the hands do help, but again, applying heat will work. And I'm also I did not cut this down like with the, like with the with the template. I'm just using a full sheet because I know that um, I'm not gonna be able to use, utilize two skates on it, and I have a whole brand new uh, fresh roll to do all my other projects with. So I'm just going to pull it nice and taut, and I will worry more about these bubbles and everything in a second. Just wanna. Lay it somewhat flatter. And because of all the curves, like a lot of this material needs to be cut off to really help this lay flatter. Because right now, this part here is not really, this is, is a skate, but it's not the part you need the vinyl. So, just trying to be a little bit of a perfectionist right now, but. Okay, let me clean this up, get the other skate done, and I'll show you the logo. Okay, skates are both nice and super smooth with this beautiful black, matte black finish. And the good thing is like anytime, I, if I see anything here, I can just apply more heat to it and it'll get rid of all those bubbles. Like, you know, in the next hour or so I'll have to go back over just to double check to make sure everything is fully set in place. But now I think it is time we put the numbers on and the logo. So, originally, like I said, it was going to be pink, and, like, that looks so much better, pink on top of the black, like, that really pops, but, I just like this holographic look, because look, there you go, look, it has, you get some pink in there, so it's got the pink, but it's got blue, purples, like, this is going to look so much better, so let's get this going. Sure, got the right skate. Yep.
Ooh. Oh man, on camera, I don't know if I can get get do the true appearance of it, but in person, oh my god, the color that's coming off of that. I'm not sure if the camera's picking up the way it should be. Hopefully, I'll be able to capture it in like a in a photog in like a, a photograph or something and upload it. Oh, because right now all I see on the camera, the viewfinder. It's like a silver with a little bit of pink, but in person, holy shit. Let's get the bunny logo on. Again, like, you gotta admit, that on top of the black would have looked really nice. But, at least, you know what, I got that saved if I want to switch it out, you know, later. Because I am going to make logos for each of, each of the teams I play for. Um, and because I have this machine now, I can easily just print these off. I can have a whole stash of them prepared. Oof. That fought with me. And the good thing is, like I said before, when I did the pink one, if I put any logo onto the actual skate, I, it's just going to get cut off, so it's all good. I think, I think I'm going to go right there this time. And just slowly lay this down. Gonna be careful here and cut a slit in the clear just to allow some give. wasn't necessarily planning on the logo going that far back, but that is okay. Alright, and while it's still in its plastic, let's just... I did also not fully rub this down now, did I? <laughs> Good thing is this part didn't come up, but I can just now apply more pressure to guarantee it. Almost an oopsie there. Keep an eye on everything, make sure everything's staying down. Oh yeah, looking good. All right, let me pop the camera off to give you guys a better look. All right, skates are done. Let me show you what they look like. Let's lay them flat here for you. I wonder. If I turn the light off, will it give you a better look? Mm -hmm, it's one light. There, oh, now you can really see the... Because I have just one different light on the side here. Now you can see the color. See? There's the pink to go for the team. And, ooh, 
Ooh, <laughs> kind of looks silver there. And then you, oh, there you can see down the blue, purples. <whistles> These look nice. And believe me, it does not take long at all. You just heat gun and some patience. You can do this too. Like, nice and smooth. Beautiful decals. Like, these would have looked really good too. But, mm, nice little holographic. And if you're really good with the, with the, using a machine, do you can do, you can do layered stuff. Like, this is my cousin's uh, team, he coaches. I was able to recreate this for him. You can, I'll have to probably do a mirror image to make it fit for this skate or just go on this skate. You can do multiple designs. Just a little bit of patience. You can do it. So yeah. Let me put on the screen a side-by-side -side comparison of the pink to this and you will see why this is so much better. This black vinyl here, I will definitely be putting in the description box for you guys if you want to order it. This uh, holographic here is uh, Circuit uh, Opal. I will link that as well. But you can use 3M's uh, holographic film, Avery. They'll all work too, but depends on the vinyl. Like a buddy of mine gave me some holographic vinyl, and it looks different when you lay it on black compared to if you lay it on white. So that's why I stuck with this this uh, holographic, because this one didn't matter what color you put it on, it stayed the same. But yeah, that's my skates. Let me know what you guys think about them. Because I like them much better. I think I get, I think I, I get on the ice in about a week. I, I look forward to it. Oh my God, I've been missing hockey so much. But that's me wrapping the skates part two. See you guys next time. Hey, what a sick video that was. Jesse Official Sketch, the best channel on YouTube. Make sure you guys leave a like, leave a comment, and yeah, peace.